So, I mean, as you know, I do a lot of traveling for service now, and I probably meet with about, I don't know, 200, 250 CIOs and, and business leaders and tech leaders, you know, every year. And every week I'm hearing about this, you know, mm. Greg, this sounds great. I've, I've, I've heard this promise before, you know, every few years in technology, there's a new platform and a new tool. It's going to change all of our lives. We get to build a lot <laughs> yeah. of stuff really fast. And look, a lot of noise. we'll get to it. In, we'll, we'll get to it in a little bit, but with the, with the introduction of Gen AI into this, you know, the opportunity to build lots more stuff than sprawl is going to even get accelerated on a scale that we've never even seen before. So you've got to have some governance and you've got to have some guardrails and get your head around this so that you don't make the mistakes of the past. You know, nobody wants another Lotus Notes where we have thousands of Lotus Notes sprawled throughout the company. <laughs> we don't know what they yeah. do or SharePoint hell. And every, you know, every department's got, you know, dozens of SharePoint sites and we don't know what they do. So my, my best advice to, to a customer in this is that you've got to have some gates. And at the front end of it, before you let somebody build something, you've got to have a front end gate that, that, that takes care of that ideation. You know, before, you know, you let somebody just go off and build something with a tool, you want to make sure you know what they're building, you know, from both a business and a technology standpoint. So mm -hmm. in ServiceNow, you know, we have our own low-code citizen developer program. You know, we drink our own champagne. We practice what we preach. I'm, I'm a part of this program. But before we let anybody build something with App Engine, our low-code tools, we just make sure, a little, little check. It, it can be done in a few minutes, maybe a few hours. One, does the business want this being built? Two, technically, is it possible? And then three, does it exist elsewhere? Let's check our CMDB, our configuration management database. Let's see if this exists somewhere else in the organization because we don't want to take on technical debt. I'll be very honest with you. I've, I've tried to submit ideas mm -hmm. into this program. Hey, I got a really cool creator workflows mobile app I want to build. And I've been told, no, you know, Greg, we already, thanks, but no thanks. We have applications at the company that already do that. Mm -hmm. And at the, at the end of it, it's really good governance. They don't want me creating more technical debt. Yeah. But then we do another th check at the end, which is very important for our customers that are worried about sprawl and quality and, and, and having too many apps, is that before the app goes into production, we do a check. You know, we do a little bit of a health scan, some automated tests. We do a configuration review. We do a tech review so that we make sure that the application is of a certain quality before it goes into production. And this way, if the developer yeah. leaves tomorrow, it doesn't matter. It's been documented what the app does. We've run it through some tests so we know it's not going to fail and we're not just taking on debt for central IT to manage. And now it can go into production where you can monitor the business usage. Hey, you said a thousand people were going to use this on the front end. Hey, only 10 people are using it or the opposite. Maybe <laughs> yeah. 10,000 people are using it and we're getting more value out of it. But you, you can start to get a, a sense of that. And since it's on service now, we can register it as an asset. And we can register, as, register it as a configuration item in our CMDB where you can start to manage the app as an asset. Who's using it? What's the configuration? And if no one's using it, let's free up the licenses. Let's retire it. And so these are the ways that you know I recommend and ServiceNow is recommending you take a look at the sprawl and the, the, uh, the governance. So you do some checks on the beginning for the ideation to make sure you're not accruing more debt. And then you make sure you monitor yeah. in production, you manage it as an asset so that you could retire. So you don't wind up 10 years from now with a bunch of app engine apps sprawled throughout your company. These are the two major ways that ServiceNow is really helping customers avoid that sprawl and avoid that lack of governance so that you can run a report and know instantly what people are building. Yeah. And I don't want to mention any other competitive platforms. That's not the case with some other platforms. Yeah. I have access to some of these other platforms where I can build apps that my CIO never knows about. That's not a good thing.